Hi, my name is Kai and today I want to show you how you can make your potentials in ePlan so colorful. As you can see, for example the PE is green with a dash dot line and here these are black and other auto connecting lines are red. And therefore we have three different possibilities in ePlan and this is something I want to show you in this video. So stay tuned. The first possibility to color your auto connecting line is the so called connection definition point. So, therefore, we go to the tab insert and here on connection definition point. And now we can place it on our auto connecting line. And when you don't want to have this symbol, what you see here, you can also push the backspace and then you can select also other symbols for this. So I keep it here with the CTP symbol and place it here on our auto connecting line. So and now we go to the tab connection graphic and here we can set the properties for example for the color. So we change this to black one and to make it a little bit more visible I change also the line type for example to this one. So when I click now apply and OK you see that ePlan updated my connection and I have now this nice black line here. What you can see as well is that this is only for this one connection from the terminal here to my MCCB here. All the others here are not affected with that. Therefore ePlan has another possibility. So I delete now the definition point and go to connections and update and then I have back my red auto connecting line. And now we want to set a potential definition. Therefore we go to insert and when we click here on connection you have also here more possibilities and we select the potential definition point. So when we place this here on our auto connecting line and go to connection graphic. We can also change here, for example, the color to black. And I use again this line type here. And we can select a potential definition. So we give first a name. And here, potential type, we can select, for example, L. And when we click now, apply and OK and go to connections and update, you see that all the auto connecting lines which are connected with this potential are now in this black line. So, and now we can, for example, duplicate this on our L2 and we could change it to L2 change for example the connection graphic. Here we use the normal one and maybe we select brown, click OK, click on update. We have now here a brown auto connecting line on L2. And on this way you can set the colors and line types for the whole potential. And now we come to the third possibility. So I delete this again and click on update. And now we have, for example, a look here on this PE terminal. When we go here to simple function data and to the definition here, we see that this is a PE terminal. And when we have a look on logic, you can also see that the potential type of this terminal is PE. You, you can here also select these different potential types, like we have done it before, for example L, but here we keep it on PE and click OK. And when we have a look, for example, here on the neutral and have a look on the neutral terminal, you see that this is also a definition as neutral terminal and the potential type is neutral. And now, for example, we want to have for the neutral a blue line in our drawing. 
and we don't want to make it with a potential definition, we want to do it over the layer management. And therefore we go to Tools and here to Layer Management. And here in your layer management, you can also select for all different stuff in ePlan, a specific line type, line thickness, color, and so on. You can also activate if you want to have something visible or you want to have or you want to have it on your print version or not. So to find the right settings for your neutral, we go here to simple graphic and then to connection symbols. And here we have the auto connection lines. And here below we can select our potential types. When we have a look, for example, on the PE, you see that in my project is already the setting selected for line type, the stash dot line, and the color is green. And for our neutral, we want to select now the blue one. We take this one. And we can select also maybe another line type. And you can see directly that ePlan change it here in your drawings. And when you do it on this way, and you have selected the potential type of your devices as a neutral, ePlan change automatically the line type and the color according to your settings in the layer management. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e-blend skills.